Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. And we are still exploring Zepho, guys, but I'm not exactly sure for how much longer. At the end of the last episode, we were over at the crash site of a Clone War era Star Destroyer, and it was kind of a one way trip because once we jumped down into this area, there was no other save points, and I was running around like a chicken with my head cut off going, where do we go? Where's the save point? When I completely forgot that there was a save point right there, as well as an ice slide that took us all the way down back into the ice caverns. So um, I went ahead and took out the stormtroopers there and then took another elevator up here and we are very close to the Mantis. We can go ahead and board the Mantis and head to Kashyyyk. The problem with that, though, is twofold. One, there's another area here that we could use our force powers to open um, at the abandoned village. And also, check this out. There is another ice slide with a pretty nasty surprise. And I'm curious what would happen if we went down it. I think my I think my curiosity is going to get the better of me here especially with that gear system spinning. So, you know what? Let's see what's what. Oh. oh okay, a gear to the face. And I am using force push and not slow. There you go. Woo! Well, I have no idea where this is going to take us. This is going to take us back to the caverns, isn't it? Where are we? Oh, we are back at the caverns. Okay, so this was like a nice little shortcut to head straight down without taking the elevator. That's interesting. My only concern now is... Can we not... Use the elevator again? Ooh, I want... Okay, wait, never mind. The elevator's back down here. That's good to know. And it seems there's an area over here. There also is another door that we could open with our scomp link, but it's locked from the other side, so I think it may just be a shortcut. But this is different from the path we went before. We've got a lot of zigzagging. So... Let's see where this takes us. To a very upset critter. And a very dead critter, but still. Now, have I gone through this? It says that I have, but I'm not sure where exactly it leads. Oh, and we've got a wind. Interesting. Oh lord. I don't remember the wind gust before and I see a scout trooper taking on some local wildlife and a chest. Hello. Oh, it's a purge trooper. Oh. Get in there. Okay. I'll annihilate you. Oh, there's two chests here. You will not deny me. Wounded. Oh man. Woo! This is not good. We need to use our force against the perch trooper here. It looks like we got a one-shot thing against him. Stay on you. Yep. All traitors. I don't know how to fight the him. Oh, or him, After apparently. Him. Let's take him on. Oh, you'll pay. Take him down. Face the Empire's strength. Oh, man, with those two fighting. Quit running. No. <laughs> Don't kill me. All right, that's better. Uh, 
That was close. Electro Baton Purge Trooper. Um, they may attack in flurries of quick strikes, but vulnerable after fishing, finishing the initial attack. I'll check it out. Excavation saw. Now here's what I'm more curious about. Hey! Something we can use? BD-1 skin acquired Bestin, which is the imperial capital of Tatooine. Okay, that's cool. At least in Star Wars Galaxies it was, but that's actually where the imperial governor is based on. There. And an echo. That's an excellent find. It will need my personal evaluation. Yeah, oh. Thank you, save point. Hallelujah. So that was that other door that we couldn't open before. We shall rest now. Enemies have respawned. Don't have any skill points available, though. Alright, so everything here is done. I still wish we could go to the temple and get to that one area that we missed, but I don't think we're... I don't know if we're missing anything important over there. Got that one. I mean, we are down here. We have the ability to head back to the temple if we wanted to. Do I really want to subject myself to that, though? I probably do. You know what? We're going to hit all the things. Sorry if this is a little bit of a retread, guys, but I am curious. Don't want to leave any stone unturned. At least most of them. I mean, Lord knows we're going to have to come back here after we uh, learn some new stuff, but there's been so many little areas that we haven't been able to go to that when we... It's just like a Metroidvania. It's what it is. It's a 3D... Rep, or it's a 3D style Retrovania, which I believe a lot of Souls games are. I've never actually played Dark Souls, so I couldn't tell you one way or the other. I've heard good things, though. Alright, this is going to take us back to the Windswept Ruins. If memory serves. Yep. And... I guess we'll just have to go through there. And take the elevator back down. Right, because that's just going to slide. And take us back to the Ice Ruins. So we've seen two styles of purge troopers while we've been here. Basically a sniper version and a seemed much more dangerous baton version. Down there. He's moving. I am indeed moving. Oh, that's not wise. <laughs> oh, that guy really wanted that kill. Good lord. Alright, guys. So, we are here in the back of the tomb of Ilrum. Um, had to take the elevator back down into the tombs and go all the way here to this back chamber. And I actually um, saw that this area was blocked and went back and did this entire... <laughs> like rope swing and wall run sequence to get back over here and then forgot that there's actually a little crevice that we could crawl to go back and forth so that sucked but we are here at this door that we can actually open and but it's not one that we can open with the force push but we can indeed open it so I believe what we have to do here is use this guy actually let's test this out can we use force push on these I mean the wind Boofs them about. Out. Yes, indeed. Okay. 
Why that works and not a lightsaber, I couldn't tell you. We got a really nice echo here. The Zepho crafted this artifact as an offering to the wind. It was destroyed intentionally for some reason. See, and that right there is why we do some backtracking, guys. Because now we got the maximum force. And we should be in good shape. Whoop. And we know how to deal with those guys again. We should be in good shape to um, head back to where we were. Oh, we got to run through this area. Okay. So, oh. <laughs> And I'll tell you what, I'm actually going to save you guys the frustration of watching me fail that jump. So I will see you guys back near, I guess, the uh, Mantis area before we took that slide. All right. And we're back where the episode started, guys. So I believe this is going to unlock a shortcut for us. Awesome. And there's the mantis right there. Good stuff. So let's see where we need to go over here to this next area at the abandoned village. Now we're going to be dealing with all of those stormtroopers again, which is going to kind of suck. But looks like we go ahead and hang a right. Yeah. Let's see if we can avoid all the nonsense here. Okay, they're gonna come out from underneath the ground. Whoop! And I think... Cal, we've got a walker firing on us, and our weapons are down. Oh, Is crap. that him? Tell him he better get his butt... <laughs> Hold on, oh. I'm on my way. ATST, that's not good. Do you think we. You know what? I think we've got time. I think this is going to lead us to where we need to go. Cave systems looks familiar. Wait, that's a force echo. We didn't get I got a skill point though the mother used this fabric to keep her child warm they were on the run from something oh man you can hear that chicken walker in the background well I hope uh, the mantis has got some tough shields Oop. And I don't think this is the right way. But there is a chest. Finding all Stand kinds great. of stuff. Should be here. Wait, can he carry more? Thanks, BD1. Oh, did we just get another stim charge? Yeah, I hear you. I'm that happy too. Awesome. Okay, so yellow... Yellow crates are very, very good for us. How did I not come by here the first time? All right, this is where... Oh, I guess that doesn't lead us over to the... Well, crap. So, how do we get back to the I guess the way we came yeah this looks like it was an area just for a secret I don't think we can climb up anything well that would have been nice to have had like much later I have to realize that for the purposes of the plot, that that ATST is probably doing a lot of damage to the Mantis. If you played the uh, the old West End games RPG, that actually an ATS a, a Walker class vehicle wouldn't do a whole lot of damage to something that was Starfighter or uh, Capital Ship class, or at least far less than it would do normally. Okay, I guess we are. 
Going this way. Okay, I do... I hear the chicken walker. Where is... Ah, there you are. And I bet we head over there, that's just going to be a fight. Oh? Let's head down this way. <laughs> oh god, it is a boss fight. That is going to suck. All right, let's uh, let's avoid it if we can. Oh! Nice to back. More stormtroopers than I remember. Didn't really matter at the end of the day, but still. Yeah, they're definitely wanting us to. Uh, I guess we got to go around here. I don't think there's any other areas that we can go to currently with our force powers. Absolutely. Oh, there's another echo down there. Stop that ship! Blast them! Oh, never mind. I was wrong. Goodbye. That's a much better way of dealing with those scout troopers. Hope you're ready. Goodbye, friend. Oh. Your head down. <laughs> Gonna wily coyote all of you. Where is this spoop? Man, you thought you had me down, didn't you? What are you doing here? Yeah! Just taking a stroll. Ah, uh, crap. I'll break your guard. <laughs> That's not possible. Yeah, it is. It's fine. The guy has a laser sword. <laughs> nice super kick there. Okay, I am just running into a bunch of stuff that I apparently missed the first go around. Oh no, that's a save point up there. I thought that was another force memory. Ooh, hello there, chest. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I just saw what I gotta do. That would have sucked. See if we can go into any doors. Think you can help with this? Hey! Oh, we were able to that one? get here before. Okay, cool. So it's just a little kind of shortcut. Okay, I guess now we need to take care of the chicken walker. Or at least, oop, attempt to. That ain't gonna do it. Goodbye, friends. Well, I guess now the question is, how do I get back? And am I able to? Can I? Okay. This might actually do it. There we are. And we'll save the game. Take on our ATST and... Maybe call it a day? Step forward for identification. Can't top my skill. 
That one we already opened, right? That had, yeah. We went that direction. Okay. I'm, pre I'm preparing myself for the unpleasantness that is to come. Ooh, I don't know if we can actually... I mean, we can try. Wait a minute, there was a shortcut around here, wasn't there? Yeah, never mind. This this door opening is actually going to take us back down to the port. Got to work my way back, unfortunately, but... Them's the brakes. See if there was any other way to climb. No. So, I'm going to have flashbacks while I'm doing this boss fight to uh, Shadows of the Empire. <laughs> going to be like Dash Rendar fighting the ATST at the end of uh, Echo Base. That's going to be some unpleasant memories back to haunt me. I believe this leads back down. Oh, a save point. Hallelujah. This is where we'll get all of our XP back. And we can go ahead and use our skill points. So, let's see. Where's our ATST destroyer ability? Evasion kick, deadly thrust. Oh. Mass push. Stagger large enemies. Actually, that might work out perfect. Let's go ahead and go with that. Get their block down. Now we can hit some of the biggins. And if there's definitely something that would get the biggin category, that would be a all-terrain scout transport. Let's do this. Oh, okay, so, well that's nice. And they have concussion missiles. Of course they do. Why wouldn't they? So how exactly do we fight this thing? Take cover behind... Oh, crates. Nope, it's got the high ground. Ooh, those chicken legs. No. Alright, I was making this apparently much harder on myself. Don't know if you're... There we go. No, you gotta be careful. Hi. <laughs> yeah. I know that there's people in there. That would have sucked as the guy got out and shot me. Hell's bells. Okay, I guess that is it for Zepho, at least for now. Had some good times. Nice work out there, kid. Hey, you got some real moves on you. <laughs> Just tell me that this visit wasn't for nothing. I found the tomb of a Zepho sage. They definitely used the force. An advanced civilization of force wielders who mysteriously vanished. No wonder Master Cordova became so obsessed with them. What else did you find? Before they disappeared, the Zepho journeyed to the planet Kashyyyk. Oh. Cordova had a Wookiee friend named Tarful. Maybe we can find him. Kashyyyk, I look, things are really bad down there. The, the Empire's muscling in on those Wookiees big time. Then we better get ready for a fight. Oh. Poor Grease. It's like the Star Wars god of frustration. I think this lifestyle suits you. Fighting that walker seems to have made you more confident. So, how are you holding up? 
And with the Force? Yes, with the Force. I know you said it could be overwhelming. I haven't gotten myself killed yet. I'd rather not talk about it. Yeah, well, I understand. More than you realize. Well, why'd you choose to stop using the Force? When the Purge started, and our clone troops turned against us, my Padawan and I took several younglings and we went into hiding. But we didn't last long. Imperial Patrol was about to discover our location, so I tried to lure them away from my Padawan Trilla. She stayed behind with the younglings, but they caught me, and they tortured me. They wanted to know about the others and how many were left, but mostly they wanted to know about Cordova and where he went. But you escaped. No. It was a prison riot. I saw my opportunity and I took it. But they almost broke me. It's strange that a... I am not the same as I was, Cal. Hmm. Your Padawan. Did she survive? No. But that's why we can't give up. We can't let the sacrifice of those closest to us be for nothing. So, Trilla could be the sister that, that had that, you know, it's true from a certain point of view kind of vibe to it. Also, it's kind of strange that they would capture a Jedi and then put her in prison instead of trying to turn her or just kill her. That doesn't really seem like the Imperial style. Hmm. Getting more questions than answers here, guys. But I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and save the game here. And in the next episode, we will head to Kashyyyk and see if Chewie's dad can uh, shed some more light on the situation. Hope you all have enjoyed it. Let's go ahead and meditate here. That was a fun fight with the ATST. That was actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I guess I just found the, the sweet spot. And there we go. So we'll see you next time, guys. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help, and we'll see you on Kashyyyk. Later days, everyone.